Hi friends, this is Neil from the Technical Marketing Team. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to provision storage using Veritas Alta Recovery Vault as a service. Alta Recovery Vault is a cloud-based data retention service that provides a seamless, fully managed secondary storage option for net backup users. In a previous video, I showed you how to create a credential for the new short-lived token-based authentication security feature in Alta Recovery Vault. In this video, I'll use that credential to connect to my Alta Recovery Vault storage. First, you'll need a storage server, and for this demo, mine has already been created. Let's go to Disk Pools and add our new storage. Click on Disk Pools and click the Plus Add button. We'll select our storage server that we saw at the beginning of the video. Name our new disk pool and give it a description if you would like. Click Next to continue. You can see here we have a pure disk volume, but that's the one currently on our storage server. We want to connect to our Alta Azure Recovery Vault storage. Click on Select Volume and click on Add Volume. Give the volume a name and then click on the Cloud Storage Provider. This is where we'll connect to our Alta Recovery Vault storage provider. In this demo, we're connecting to Azure, so we'll click on Veritas Alta Recovery Vault Azure. Under Storage Tier, we can select Account Access Tier or Archive. If you've purchased Archive Tier and wish to archive your data after a selected amount of days, you can do that here. Next, we'll connect to the correct region and select our previously created credential with short-lived tokens. With our credential selected, we can now connect to Azure by clicking on the Retrieve list. When you connect for the first time, no buckets will have been created. Let's add a new bucket by clicking the Plus Add button. Give your new bucket a name and click on Add. Great, the new bucket has been created. Let's select it and click on Next. Next, if you'd like to set up replication, you can. I'm going to skip this. Check to make sure everything looks good. And when you're ready, click on Finish. Our disk pool has been created. Click on Close. The disk pool has been created, so let's create our storage unit so we can use this new storage for backups. Go to the Storage Units tab and click on the Plus Add button. Select Media Server Deduplication Pool, or MSDP, and click Start. Give the storage unit a name and click on Next. Select the new disk pool you created and click Next. Here you can have NetBackup choose the media server to use or specify the one you want. Review the entries for the new storage unit, and when things look good, click on Save. And here we can see our storage unit has been successfully created. You can now use your new Recovery Vault storage for backups. With Veritas Alta Recovery Vault, protecting critical data in the cloud has never been easier. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to connect to and get your Alta Recovery Vault storage ready for backups.